Come Prince wasn't afraid. He knew that the land of chocolate was safe forever and ever. Good night, my little angel. That's wholesome. Very Dad! What? What? Get up! Get your shoes on! Gotta get out of here! Move! <laughs> what the hell just <laughs> happened, bro? Like, I was literally just complimenting how wholesome that was for a South Park episode. And then Randy coming through like a like a maniac, bro, trying to wake everybody in the house up. We've got to bring all the water we can. Shelly, go get my gun. What's going on, Dad? Just get the gun. All right, come on. It's madness right now. Take cover in the community center again. All right, everyone get in and get a seal on that door. Was that dude was that dude naked? Hold on. What was that? <laughs> what the hell was that, bro? Take cover in the community center again. Bro, you can't tell me that dude right there is not naked. Red head, red mustache, you know what I'm saying? Bro, what? What is happening right now? All right, everyone get in and get a seal on that door. Oh my God, Stephen, we've left letters. We can't go back out there, Linda. It's too late for him. Dad, Dad, what the hell is going on? <sighs> a cartoon. A cartoon is about to air on American television with, with the Muslim prophet Muhammad as a character. So? So? Stanley, Muhammad is sacred to the Muslim people. Ever since those cartoons in Denmark, the rules have changed. Nobody shows an image of Muhammad anymore. Which cartoon is it? What cartoon would be so insensitive as to have Muhammad as a character? <laughs> Who do you think? The cartoon that's always pushing buttons with their careless toilet humor. Right. Family Guy! Oh my god! <laughs> Once again, a cartoon depicting the Muslim prophet Muhammad is set to air tonight on Family Guy. Oh, Randy, hold me. The news has already sparked a shockwave of protests throughout the Muslim world. All over the Middle East, Muslims are burning American flags and Family Guy posters. Muslim terrorist Al Zawari made this statement. Super pissed off at Family Guy. Isn't even that funny of a show. <laughs> So what happens now? We stay here through the night, wait it out to see if they do anything. If we're still alive in the morning, then we'll know we're not dead. Oh my God. No shit, Sherlock. No shit. It's okay. We're alive. We're alive! Everyone! Bro, you couldn't figure that out inside the building? Like, you had to go outside the building to figure out if you were alive or not? Yo, somebody explain that to me. Like, make it make sense. Everyone, listen! Fox Network censored the image of Muhammad at the last minute! Oh, oh my God. God! Well, it looks like we dodged a bullet. They censored the image of Muhammad? How? I TiVo every episode. We can go to my house and see what they did. Peter, I can't believe you invited your old high school sweetheart over for dinner. You think that's bad? Remember when I auditioned to be David Hasselhoff's car? Yo, the voice is pretty, the voice is pretty close. You know what I'm saying? Pretty close to, to, to the actual uh, Family Guy sounds. Hey there, Knight Rider. After those bad guys, Kit. <laughs> Yeah, but Dad, why would you invite an ex-girlfriend to dinner? Perhaps he wants to make our mother nervous. Damn! Nervous? Like when I had to sell pancakes to the school shacker, Captain? Pancakes for you, Captain? I'll be the captain, and you be Tennille. <laughs> well, we'll keep us together. <laughs> but Peter, I don't want to... Yo, Carmen, Carmen does not like Family Guy at... Oh, uh, bro... 
I don't know who's doing the voices for the Family Guy characters, man, but they're pretty spot on, bro. Dinner for your ex-girlfriend. Well. Except for Lois. Lois doesn't sound like that. <laughs> but Peter, I don't want to cook dinner for your ex-girlfriend. Well, yeah, she maybe really sound we like her. just have tea. You mean like the time you had tea with Muhammad, the prophet of the Muslim faith? Yo, that dude doesn't either. Um, What's the dog's name? Brian? Brian doesn't sound like Brian either. Yo, this is this is literally um what they did with all the censoring that you guys uh, were telling me about. Well, maybe we can just have tea. You mean like the time you had tea with Muhammad, the prophet of the Muslim faith? Come on, Muhammad, let's get some tea. He said, Muhammad. Rabbi, Mr. T. T. Oh boy, was that ever weird. Anyway, I can't believe I invited my old sweetheart to dinner. Forgive ah. my, my ignorance. It's that's Muhammad, it? That's right? all they did? Oh, man, that's not cool. Seriously, that is not cool. What? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? You guys, they just made fun of the religion of an entire group of people. What, you guys think that's okay? Yeah, you I do that all, all the time, bro. Feelings? Since when do you care about being sensitive to people's religion, Cartman? Right. Yeah, you rip on people's religion all the time. Right. That's different. I'm just a little boy. That's a cartoon. Millions of people watch it. How would you feel, Cal, if there was a cartoon on television that made fun of Jews all the time, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm telling you guys, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Yo, this is a dope episode. I'm not going to lie. Kyle? Kyle, what are you watching? Hey, Brian, this is like the time I got a job as a carrot cake. Ah, it's Family Guy. Quick, Gerald, do something. <laughs> Oh my god! Why did you just change the channel? It's okay. It's dead. <laughs> you boys know you're not supposed to watch that Taylor show! Mom, it was nothing. Muhammad just stood there and then drank some tea. You boys don't understand anything. It's obvious that you all need Muslim sensitivity training. What Welcome the hell? to Muslim sensitivity training. It is important for us Bro, to understand that's the whole class. why the Muslims feel the way they do. Goddamn family guy. Now they're just provoking people. It's like they want a holy war. Does this mean we don't have school all week? You guys, this is serious. <laughs> we have to do something. <laughs> we have to go to Fox Network in L.A. We have to go and try to get that episode pulled. You guys with me? Dude, we can't go anywhere. They've shut down the airports and the buses. Then we'll ride Damn. our big wheels to Los Angeles? If that's what it takes, yes. We have to talk to the network. The Family Guy writers aren't going to back down. Well, good for them. They shouldn't. The writers are standing up and saying they aren't going to be intimidated. Intimidated? Is that what you think this is about, Kat? All right, dude, what the hell has gotten into you? I don't trust for one second that your sudden concern for the Muslim people is real. All right, fine, Kyle. Forget the Muslim faith for a minute. People can get hurt. If ten people die because Family Guy just had to have their little joke, will you still think it's funny? What if a hundred people die? Will it be funny then, Kyle? Damn. I'm going to Los Angeles, and I'm going to do whatever I can. Why is, um, I don't understand why Cartman is, like, so emotionally attached with this entire situation. Cartman is usually, like, the coldest kid in the group, the coldest kid in the cartoon. You know what I'm saying? But right now, he's, like, the opposite of that. He's, like, feeling for everyone. You feel me? Episode pulled before this gets out of hand. Somebody has to speak for the Muslim people. Somebody has to speak for what's right. Kyle! Kyle, wake up! We have to go! The terrorists are attacking! Oh! Dad, are you sure this time? This isn't a joke, Kyle! Bombs have already gone off in six cities! Bro, Ish has hit the wait a fan! Minute. Where's Ike? He was just here! Ike! Ike! Not again, where's Ike? No! 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 Oh, bro, I was about to say. Bro, they got me. They got me. I thought I thought that really happened to Ike, bro. Holy crap. Well, Cal, we better get going. Yeah. There's going to be some wild plot twists at the end, bro. There has to be. Cause it doesn't, it doesn't make I'm sense, set. bro. Let's like, do this. All right, let's roll. 
I've never seen Cartman this committed. You feel me? <laughs> They're going nowhere, bro. We take 20 to 25 dump trucks, fill them with sand from Monarch Lake, and then dump the sand along South Park Avenue. By using approximately 18 dozen shovels, we can each dig a hole in the sand, stick our heads in the holes, and then have the person to our left bury them. If we can manage to get every person's head buried deep, deep in sand before the Muhammad episode airs, we could avoid looking like we're responsible for any part of this at all. You're gonna die, bro. Like, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't, I don't get it, bro. I, I don't know why that's even an option. No, no, wait a minute. That's ridiculous. Right. Look, what we need to do is just the opposite. Freedom of speech is at stake here. Don't you all see? Right, if right. anything, that's a fact. We should all make cartoons of Muhammad and show the terrorists and the extremists that we are all united in the belief that every person has a right to say what they want. Look, people, it's it's been real easy for us to stand up for free speech lately. For the past few decades, we haven't had to risk anything to defend it. But those times are going to come. And one of those times is right now. And if we aren't willing to risk what we have, then we just believe in free speech. But we don't defend it. Mm. I like the sand idea. Oh my yeah, me god. Too. Yeah, the sand thing sounds a lot simpler. Let me yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna need eight dozen shots. Yeah, my man, and 16 my man was trying hard too. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was trying to be super motivating, bro, but it didn't it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work at all. Sand, let's move, people! We got six days to make it to Los Angeles. If we keep our stops to a minimum, we should be able to get the episode pulled just in time. Yes. And in just a few weeks from now, Family Guy will be off the air forever. Off the air. There you go. But we're just going to try to get them off. There you go. That that was that was the unspoken reason for all of this. You know what I'm saying? There it is. This isn't what I signed up for. Right. I like Family Guy. Why do we have to get it off the air forever? Because they they made fun of Muslims, and and that's wrong. But that doesn't mean it has to go off the air. You should like that show. Your sense of humor is just like Family Guy. Don't you ever, ever compare me to Family Guy. You hear He's me, Kyle? He's mad, bro. He's compare mad. me to Family Guy again, and so help me, I will kill you where you stand. Do you have any idea what it's like? Everywhere I go. Hey, Cartman, you must like Family Guy, right? Hey, your sense of humor reminds me of Family Guy, Cartman. <laughs> nothing like Family Guy. When I make jokes, they are inherent to a story. Deep, situational, and emotional jokes based on what is relevant and has a point. Not just one random interchangeable joke after another. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't I Yo, I'm not gonna lie, man. I've seen some people like argue about uh, about this particular topic. Um, in the comment section of one of my reaction videos, I don't remember if it was a Family Guy video or a South Park video. Cause if y'all know, bro, if, if y'all rock with me, y'all know that I react to both South Park and family guy but i lean more on the south park side of things you feel me but i've seen i've seen a a, a couple comments in in one of these videos but i don't remember which one about this same exact thing understand i can't believe i let you scare me into taking your side you used fear to make me stop believing in free speech well i guess you won't be helping me now no biggie i don't need you to get the episode pulled Bro, you'd be fast if you just ran out. Ah, stop it! They're making this so intense and they're going so slow. Oh! Ah! It's working though. Are you kidding me right now? Stay on them. They're going like two miles per hour. Jesus, Mary. Oh my God. Get the hell out of here, dog. Bro, it's not gonna work. Bury my head in the sand. It's the best way, Stanley. Did you eat your fruit roll up? Yeah. All right, make sure your snorkel is working. All right, now get your head in the hole. 
Dad, this is stupid. Stanley, right. there's no time for your immaturity. Do it. All right, Sharon. Well, don't get now sand in the, in the snorkel. But professor, we all just thought of something. If everyone has their head buried by the person standing to their left, right. then who's going to bury the last person's head? Bingo! Yes, I'm afraid one person is going to have to be last and not have his head in the sand. Bro, bury it yourself. It's not that hard. It better not explode. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no fuel in that. So long, you son of a bitch! I won't let you win! You hear me? Suck my balls, <laughs> yeah! President Are you Bush. the network president? Yes, Mr. President. We need to discuss this Family Guy episode, Mr. President. Mr. President, my hands are tied. The Family Guy writers insist I don't censor Muhammad. But, Mr. President, this is a matter of national security. They must be reasoned with. Mr. President, there's something about the Family Guy writing staff I think you should know. Next week on South Park. What? Race continues. It's a cliffhanger. Cartman Stop playing the with me. Guy studio and learns the shocking secret behind the Family Guy writing staff. Damn. This explains everything. As an entire nation buries its head in sand. The idea has swept the nation, but where will we find enough sand for everyone? And the battle between good and evil is finally waged. Cop, quit it. Got it, cop. Will the cartoon be allowed to appear uncensored? Will Family Guy be destroyed? Will television executives fight for free speech? Or will Comedy Central puss out? Tune oh, in to see damn. part two of Family Guy next week on South Park. Yo, this is gonna be this is gonna be lit, and I'm definitely here for the ride. We're definitely gonna check out Cartoon Wars number two. But in the meantime, go ahead and smash the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. But smash the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. I'm gone. Peace.